So Jason Reitman, the director of the new Ghostbusters movie that's coming out next year, said something that was very, very shocking, very terrible. He said that he's going to make new Ghostbusters movie for the fans. <sighs> what? What? How can you make a movie for the fans? That's just, that's just wrong. That's wrong. All right, so we have here an article from The Hollywood Reporter, our favorite site in all the world. Ghostbusters director Jason Reitman promises to hand the movie back to the fans. Ugh, appalling. People are actually, <laughs> people are actually offended by this. People are offended that he actually said he's making this movie for the fans. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So um, his quote here: "I'm not making the Juno of Ghostbusters movies," says the filmmaker. I haven't seen Juno, so I'm not entirely sure what he means by that. Okay, so he said it says here: "Talking on the most recent edition of Bill Burr's." Monday morning podcast, Reitman went out of his way to reassure those still seemingly traumatized by Paul Feig's all-female 2016 reboot of the franchise that his movie wouldn't be anything like that, saying, I'm not making the Juno of Ghostbusters movies, referencing his 2007 Ellen Page film centering on a pregnant teenage girl. We are in every way trying to go back to original technique and hand the movie back to the fans. Okay, how is that something not to get excited about? People who actually are fans of the Ghostbusters movies, the actual Ghostbuster movies, are probably really excited when he says that. Because a lot of people did not like the new Ghostbusters movie. People did not like Ghostbusters 2016, and it wasn't because of the women. It was because it wasn't a good Ghostbusters movie. Let's put aside for a second the hopefully accidental sexism in the Juno reference, which is as likely to be a reference to the tone of the movie as it is the gender of the protagonist and potential swipe at the Fig movie. There's been rumors that uh, the new Ghostbusters movie will feature two, um, two teenage boys and two teenage girls as the, the protagonists. But as we know, the SJWs like to see everything that happens with identity politics. They're not looking at this comment that, that uh, Reitman made as an actual comment referring to the fact that he's trying to make a Ghostbusters movie that is like a classic Ghostbusters movie, but if, instead they decide to take the route of oh, sexism, sexism, because that's what they do. That's what the SJWs do. And we know it by now. That the 2016 reboot of the franchise underperformed at the box office is hardly a secret. And so some course correction should be expected. But hand the movie back to the fans, it seems a little over the top. At least, I'm gonna cry about this. He says he's making a movie for the fans. <laughs> I, this is just a perfect example of where we're at right now. This is exactly what's happening with Star Wars right now as well. Huh, interesting. See. The problem is, is that people are making these new movies not for the fans. They're making these new movies in the name of identity politics. And that is the problem. And I've talked about this a few weeks ago as well in a video I made for the new Ghostbusters movie coming out when it was first announced. But it seems like Jason Reitman wants to make a good Ghostbusters movie that is um, an homage in a way to the original Ghostbusters movies. And I think that's awesome. That actually makes me really excited for this film. And it should make us very excited as as a community for this film as well. Um, can you imagine, can you imagine just how beautiful it would be if J.J. Abrams said in an interview, I am in every way trying to go back to the original technique and hand episode nine back to the fans. Do you know how amazing that would be if he said that? That would be absolutely incredible. And I feel like Ghostbusters is kind of in the same boat right now with what Jason Reitman is saying. He obviously sees the issues that Ghostbusters 2016 had. He can see that it was a ploy for identity politics to infiltrate the Ghostbusters franchise. And I think he knows that and he wants to basically just make a good Ghostbusters film. But that's a problem to SJWs. They don't want movies to be made for the fans. They want movies to be made for their identity politics and that is the problem. The sad thing is, 
is that Jason Wright man said today in a tweet, this is sad, this is really sad. He said, whoa, that came out wrong. I have nothing but admiration for Paul and Leslie and Kay and Melissa and Kristen and the bravery with which they made Ghostbusters 2016. They expanded the universe and made an amazing movie. Jason, 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 you don't backpedal. You don't apologize. You don't give way to SJWs. When you do that, they win and they just won. They beat you. You literally just rolled over and let the SJWs trample you. Ah, dude. Seriously, man. I was thinking that maybe Jason had the balls to stand up to SJWs. I, I was thinking that for a moment, Jason would be making an actual good Ghostbusters movie. And he didn't care about what people said about it. But I, I'm starting to question him now. Like, is he just going to let the pressures of the mainstream media and SJWs overrun him? I hope not. I really hope not. I hope that this was just a diplomatic way for him to try to, you know, calm down the storm a little bit so that he can just focus on making the Ghostbusters movie he wants to make. And I guess I can kind of understand that if that is what he's doing. But on the other hand, man, I don't know, man. You don't, you don't give way to SJWs. You don't do that. When you do that, they win. And we all know that. We know that you don't apologize to these people because they're not going to accept your apology. They don't care. They don't care if you apologize. They're going to just continue to complain and whine and find new ways to basically put you down and shame you and all of that stuff. They don't care if you apologize. Uh, the apologies just go right through their brain. Well, whatever small brain they have. They, they, don't, even, they don't even know how to accept an apology. So, Jason, please don't let me down. If you are indeed going to make a Ghostbusters movie that is for the fans, that is awesome. Please do that. Don't give way to SJWs. Don't ever apologize to these people because they don't they can't even process what apologies are. So please don't do that. Make a movie for the fans, and maybe maybe this could be a great way to be in a positive in a a positive example to Star Wars, Lucasfilm, and Marvel, and all the other franchises that are starting to tear down the things that we love. We, the fans. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.